from a TV camera aboard the Ranger 7 spacecraft, about 17 minutes from lunar impact. The area covered by the initial picture, approximately 450,000 square miles. All of these views of the moon were taken by the Ranger's A camera, one of six aboard the spacecraft, at the rate of one every five seconds. They are shown here at four times that speed. The A camera featured a 25 millimeter F1 lens. The distance across the picture is about 600 miles. Distance from the spacecraft to center area of the picture is now approximately 1,200 miles. North is at the top of the picture, with sunlight falling from the left. Upper left area is known as the Ocean of Storms, 1,052 miles from the moon. 13 minutes from impact. 1,003 miles from the moon. Note that we appear to be zooming in on the area in the upper right-hand part of the picture. Eleven minutes to impact. 873 miles from target. The large crater at bottom right is Boliadis, which has a diameter of 40 miles. Ten minutes to impact. 841 miles from spacecraft to center of picture. Nine minutes to impact. 733 miles to the moon. During the 17 minutes that Ranger's full scan cameras operated, the A camera recorded 200 pictures of the lunar surface. More than 4,300 pictures were taken by the six camera system. Six hundred ten miles to the moon. Five hundred eighty three miles to the moon. Seven minutes. Six and a half minutes. Five hundred ten miles from the moon. Earth based photography resolution is closely matched at this point. It now becomes easier to pick out features on the moon's surface. The distance across the picture is now about 120 miles. As each successive picture is seen, so are smaller craters and other surface features never before seen by man. 292 miles. The upper right-hand sector of the frame shows the impact area. The TV pictures from Ranger 7's cameras were received and recorded at the Goldstone Tracking Station in California's Mojave Desert. One and one half minutes to impact. Small craters, possibly made by debris splashed from the major craters Copernicus or Tycho, come into view. 48 seconds to impact. 33.4 miles from impact. An area four miles on a side is shown. Three and one half miles to impact. Impact, July 31st, 1964. And now a slightly longer look at the last 10 pictures before impact. These views clearly show craters with rounded walls as well as some with sharp rims. Fifty-three miles above the surface, thirty-three seconds to impact.
a closer view in the center of the outlying ray of the craters Copernicus and Tycho. The smallest crater shown here, about 150 feet in diameter. Lower central area shows a remarkable clustering of small, shallow craters. 12.7 seconds before impact. The size of the smallest craters we see is about 30 to 50 feet in diameter. Other cameras recorded tiny three-foot diameter craters. A rock mass about 300 feet long is visible in a crater in the upper left quarter of this final photo, recorded by Ranger's A camera less than two and one-half seconds before impact. The spacecraft struck the moon while transmitting this picture. The result was the band of radio receiver noise seen on the right edge of the film.